The following lesson is linked to learning outcome two, reading and viewing and addresses the assessment standards that requires learners to explore and explain key features of texts and how they contribute to meaning in poetry. Learners should be able to recognize that verse and stanza forms, rhyme, rhythm and punctuation affect meaning. I did a survey amongst poets to find out which punctuation mark is their favorite tool of the trade. This is what they had to say. My favorite punctuation is an exclamation mark because basically my poetry is about social commentary. So the exclamation is more of, it puts emphasis into my line. My favorite punctuation mark would be the ellipsis dots. Um, I use them a lot these days to pretty much be more emphatic in the pause, um, make the emotion more intense. Uh, I use it either to build it up or slow down the rhythm. probably worked out, today's lesson is on punctuation. One of the ways to think about punctuation is like the traffic signs of language. Punctuation is language's way of taking words that express ideas and making them flow in a way that makes meaning. Just like with the traffic signs, without punctuation, we would have language traffic jams and accidents of meaning. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to discuss how the meaning of a poem is affected by punctuation. Today, we're going to look at a poem by D.H. Lawrence called Mountain Lion. It's about the day the poet saw a lion that had been killed in a hunt. The poet very carefully selects the words and uses punctuation to create a scene that is so clear that it's almost like watching a film. But first, we're going to remove all the punctuation, traffic signs and create a word gem. Climbing through the January snow into the Lobo Canyon, dark grow the spruce trees, blue is the balsa mortar sound, still unfrozen and the trail is still evident, man. Two men on the, and the only animal in the world to fear. Hmm, all I hear is words, but I'm not feeling any emotion or drama here. Let's see what happens if we follow the poet's traffic signs and replace the punctuation. Climbing through the January snow into the Lobo Canyon, dark grow the spruce trees, blue is the balsam. Water sounds still unfrozen, and the trail is still evident. Men, two men. Men, the only animal in the world to fear. That's better. Now we can see not only the story, but also the emotions in this poem. Let's look at the different types of punctuations that have been used. First up, we've got the comma. This slows us down by making us pause. In this poem, it has the effect of organizing the words into separate ideas, almost like photographs of the scene. Each phrase adds to the picture in our heads. Climbing through the January snow into the Lobo Canyon, dark grow the spruce trees, blue is the balsam, water sounds still unfrozen, and the trail is still evident. Men, two men, Men, the only animal in the world to fear. All those exclamation marks. It's a bit of a rude interruption of the beautiful scenery. The sentences are short and sharp. What does the exclamation mark tell us? An exclamation mark emphasizes strong feelings or emotions. So, what are the strong feeling? Men. Two men. Men, the only animal in the world to fear. You can almost feel the poet's heart beating faster with the fright when he sees the two men. Then what happens? They hesitate. We hesitate. They have a gun. We have no gun. 
Then we all advance to meet. The full stop is the dominant punctuation in these lines. At a full stop, we pause like we did at the commas, except the pause is longer, more definite. Let's see if the census changes if we swap the full stops for the commas. They hesitate. We hesitate. They have a gun. We have no gun. Then we all advance to meet. If the poet had used commas here instead, the meaning of the lines would change and the scene wouldn't be so dramatic. The sense of the people stopping, waiting, checking each other out, and then finally deciding that it was okay wasn't as strong in the version with commas, was it? The full stops make sure that each incident is made very clear, whereas in the version with commas, they all blend in with one another. From this little experiment, we can see how the punctuation that a poet uses is not an accident, but instead is carefully selected to give the poem a very particular rhythm and meaning. Let's quickly review where we've got up to in this poem. We were given a very clear impression of the valley, the trees, the snow, and even the feeling of cold and the sound of running water. Then the poet saw the men, and there was a moment of panic and fear. Then the two groups hesitate, they freeze, and check each other out. And then the tension breaks, and they come together to meet.